Unit 1 Introduction and Natural Resources What do you mean by environment? Environment is what surrounds us. There is a common uh, normal there is a proper definition also. It is the sum total of all social, economical, biological, physical and chemical factors which constitute the surroundings of human, who are both the creator and modeler of the environment. Environment is divided into two parts, natural environment and anthropogenic environment. Natural environment which exist naturally like air, water, soil, land, forest, etc. And anthropogenic environment which are man-made or alteration of the natural environment to serve a specific use by the human beings. For example, agricultural field, gardens and aquaculture farms. Now, all these environments are consist of two basic components. They are biotic component and abiotic component. Biotic components are the living components of such a system like microbes, plants, animals, etc. Abiotic components are non-living components like air, water, soil, rocks. Biotic components are again divided into two parts. Autotropers, which are producers, they produce their own food like grain plants and bacteria. Heterotropers, they are consumers. They depend on autotropous component of the, of the environment like animals, fungi, etc. These are the examples of biotic components like animals, plants, sea creatures, microorganisms, trees and many more other. These are examples of abiotic components like air, water, soil, etc. Now what are the segments of environment? Environment is a very big thing and it is divided into different segments just to study the environment. So main components are, main segments are lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere and biosphere. Lithosphere is related to all the solid materials which includes crust, mantle, core and all other solid materials available on the earth. Hydrosphere is related to the water, water that means all the things related to ocean, sea, river will be included in hydrosphere and atmosphere is related to the gaseous state. So it extends up to 120 km from the surface of the earth and it consists of all the gases. And finally biosphere which, which is the segment of all living organisms including all the lives. Now environmental studies are divided into four parts where we are going to study the programs under environmental studies, its multidisciplinary nature, scope of environmental sciences and importance of environmental studies. So first of all programs, there are three main major program, programs like environmental studies, environmental science and environmental engineering. Environmental study is the broad interdisciplinary field of study which studies the interaction of human being with his environment. It's the interaction of human being with the environment. Secondly, environmental science. It is the science behind each and every environmental process. It is basic science behind the environmental process. This can be physical, chemical or biological sciences or anything. And environmental engineering is related to the applied part of the environment where we will study the science and engineering principles to improve our quality of environment and healthy living conditions. Now multidisciplinary nature of the environmental science. As the environmental science consists of a lot, a very big field of environment which can be related to any other branch of the science, engineering or anything else. That's why it is 
multidisciplinary subject and we need to study all the things. Now scope of environmental studies. Uh, when you study environmental studies, when we are taking a course of environmental studies, then there are a lot of scopes in industry, research and development, social development, environmental journalism, environmentalist, green advocacy, green marketing, pollution control, environmental management, and many more things are there. Now, what are the importance of environmental study? The main basic important is to get the basic knowledge of our environment and to understand the current environmental problems, which help us to, to maintain the ecological balance and get sustainable development. We will be educating people regarding their duties towards environment to help the environmental management and to protect our biodiversity. There are so many more importance of environmental studies. Now, ecology. What is ecology and how it differs from environment? The term ecology is derived from the Greek word ecologia, which is the meaning of ecology is place to live. That means ecology is concerned only about the place where a living organism is living. So it can be physical, biological or social, socio-cultural cultural adaptations. The proper definition for the ecology is the branch of science that deals with the scientific study of the interrelationship between living organisms with respect to each other and to their surroundings. There are three main points to study in ecology. First is the objective of the ecology. So what are the main objectives of the ecology? Is to understand, to know about the local and geographical distribution and abundance of organisms. Also to record the temporal changes in the occurrence, abundance and activities of organisms. Also to understand the interrelationship between organisms in population and in community. Also this will help us to understand the behavior of organisms under natural conditions. We will also understand the biological productivity. Now the common terms used in ecology which are generally MCQs so i will just define or try to explain the things first is the species species is a single kind of living organisms single kind of living organisms when the species start living in group it becomes community it becomes community and a group of communities different communities becomes populations where these populations are living, it's called as habitats and all this system including population, habitat and vegetation forms biomes. Vegetations are the only part of the biome which is involved with only plant materials or plant related studies. And biomes are also divided into two parts where all the living material of the biome is known as biomass while the non-living non-living part of the biomes are called as standing states standing states or inorganic substances and the factor or the external force or the energy involved in all the processes of the biomes is called as factors now the classification of ecology classification is based on different types of the uh, different different methods so based on the taxonomic affinity they are classified into two parts plant ecology and animal ecology and on based on the habitat where they live it's divided into different parts like freshwater ecology grassland ecology desert ecology river ecology etc and Based on the level of organization, they are divided into two parts, ecology and synecology. Ecology means the living organisms which live independently, individually. And synecology, the individuals or the 
species which live in groups uh, of organisms organ organisms groups of organisms now the interrelationship between the ecology environment and ecosystem environment as i already told you is the all that surrounds us ecology is the specific study of the interaction between the organism and its environment or its living habitat so ecology is concerned with only with the organisms as well as its living habitat whereas ecosystem is the actual flow of energy and the cycling of nutrients around around or surrounds us what is the what is the relationship between man and environment there is a really great so the man uses our environment for his um, different purposes but also man modifies his environment as required and also man can adapt to different environments so there is a exchangeable or there is interrelationship between man and environment for example the man can adapt to live in different conditions situations like in desert like in islands like in grasslands and so many places also man can modify their environment as per their requirement they can cut the forest and make the fields as per their requirement to grow their food or anything else but what are the main factors affecting the man environment relationship there are main four factors which are affecting the man environment relationship first is growing human population as the population is growing we need more and more resources or natural resources so we modify our environment as we as we need more resources so this is one of the factor which changes the behavior of human beings towards the environment another is economic development everybody wants some kind of economic development and for getting that economic development we modify our environment we change a lot of things in our environment so that is also responsible for man environment relationship next is the consumption of the natural resources every field every environment is having fixed amount of natural resources when they are consumed completely the behavior of man towards environment changes and he tries to find a new or new source resources and finally health hazards if there are some environments which are not good for the living the man will change try to change that environment as per his habitat so this is also responsible factor about affecting the man environment 